there's almost as many answers to that probably as there are countries in the region because it's a very diverse uh, set of markets. Definitely there are some constants. Everyone is grappling with digital, with ESG, with DE&I, and just the complexity of the current landscape. We're in a different place in the economic cycle. The geopolitical landscape is complicated. So that changes the, uh, the nature of the role. That said, looking across the region, there, there's also some very clear differences. In the Middle East, we're typically importing talent, trying to attract the best uh, CFOs from across the world to relocate to a region which is growing incredibly fast. Then India, which has historically been a closed talent market, is for the first time looking outside to attract talent. Um, as that market's growth accelerates tremendously. In Hong Kong, we, we see that market again beginning to vie for regional hub status with Singapore um, in the sort of post-pandemic um, era. Moving on to mainland China, there's still a lot of uncertainty around um, that market, but also huge potential. Um, so still a lot of multinational uh, interest but also Chinese local champions looking outside um, for talent. In Japan and Korea, we see traditional models of employment changing and large companies looking outside for globally trained talent uh, for the top finance role. And then in Australia, uh, which is just a very deep, mature market, we're working at the very top level, advising boards and large listed companies on attracting the best CFO talent globally. A lot of it is uncertainty. Um, and uh, we've seen that in the last few years and it'll continue to be like that uh, with a lot of uh, geopolitical changes uh, overall in the world. And uh, it's important for organizations to adapt to that uncertainty and CFO plays a key role in doing that because there's a lot of risk involved. In terms of transformation, depending on the size of your company and the stages of your company, it can be as simple as modernizing the way you work to really transforming how you do businesses. And as a CFO, you need to be prepared how to support your business to go through whatever transformation this company needs to do. Many CFOs are driving IT transformation projects. The issue is that there's so much data right now and to make sure that the data is clean is so crucial so that there's a single source of truth. CFOs can combine external data to supplement the internal data for budgeting and forecasting, and that can be very powerful. The other thing is also to democratize the data so the rest of the organization can have access to them in a controlled environment so they can use them for their analysis. Given the changes we've seen in technology, in digital transformation, the prominence of AI, which of course is a very hot topic at the moment, CFOs will have to have a view on this and will have to help the organization both embrace these opportunities as well as mitigate the risks. While it's important to be an expert, uh, whether it's working in different areas of finance, be it treasury, tax, and so many other areas, but it's also important to work closely with the business, even if they get a chance to, to manage a PL, a small PL as well, just to understand the pulse and to be able to navigate through headwinds. For anyone aspiring to be a CFO, I would recommend they involve themselves in subsidiary boards or main boards as early as possible. That exposure of navigating that stakeholder group, the earlier they can learn gain insights from that board, help influence those types of individuals, the better. Today, CFO, you're not just talking about dealing with strategic business issue, investing, and a You also need to help business to rebuild. After the pandemic, a lot of things have changed. Business was impacted, performance was impacted. As a CFO, you really need to leverage your finance expertise to help business to go through all these challenges and use finance to go back to basics to help business to rebuild its fundamentals at the same time to think about what's next in the future. Build your own succession because it's that team that will ultimately lift you up and let you make the move. You can't do everything yourself. 
The final tip is to be a great storyteller. In the finance function, you are in a unique situation to be able to access data across the business. The influence you have towards all your stakeholders is immense only if you are able to communicate with impact. <music>